All right, here we go. So, Fortune's Fox. Oh, we were gonna do warm ups. Of course. Yeah, he's a little warm ups right now. Could you imagine if that's, that's how the match actually is? Actually, is this warm ups? Is Did the match just start like that? No, I think these are warm ups. This might be real. I, I don't know. Ev uh, I, I can't. I, I, no, I mean, I can't I, even. I can't tell if they're really playing. Is this. Oh, this is gonna be the worst commentary they were actually oh. playing. <laughs> <laughs> they are. Okay, they're All right. into it. All right, he's going in. They're. they're <laughs> Alright, so you you cannot up throw this alright, this is what I know about this matchup so far. Um if you're doing this matchup, what you wanna do with Squirtle if you get a grab at lower percentages, you don't wanna up throw because uh spaces will come down and punish you uh for the up throw. You wanna actually four throw and start a tech a tech case setup. But I don't think G Chains really relies on a four throw. He's a he's a app user of that up throw. So I think at higher percentages it might work to so the way you can up throw into an up smash. That's only if they DI terribly though. So. Gotcha. As far as Fox, though, you know, all he has to do is ride that airplane. Uh, and and uh, crouch cancel up smash, to be honest. Oof. And uh, Ju Chains is playing very well to start, but 86% uh, up smash dead. Yep. That's 40% lead erased. And now uh, Fortune controlling the game. Yeah, that's how I lost. Uh, There's a Fox player at uh, Thanks for Playing 4 that I lost to. Uh, I won game one, and then he just started playing Fox. All he did, all he did, all he did was just, uh, you know, dash dance around, and then jump me with Nair, and then shine, and then run. And then I was like, dude, this is so annoying. So I switched to Lucas. But, yeah, yeah, Fox yeah. is a. I mean, if you go back to the melee golden days, well, I guess we can say today's the melee golden days now, but 07, ML, MLG days. They spam her on Poke Floats. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah. But he did it to everybody on any level. He just run. He, he knew how to run away with Fox and do it well. He's Fox capable of doing all all phases, the of offense, defense, whatever way you want to play him. He can be played that way. All right. So Juchang once again managed to get a grab, but didn't do anything off it because he went for the uh, up throw. I I see. I kind of see what he wants to do though. He wants to like get a jab reset, but Fox bounces so high, the Squirtle actually misses that jab a lot. I right, see. There it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he got the fourth though. Now he has to do his read. Let's see if he didn't. If he had waited, not done the dash attack there, he could just re grab. Mm -hmm. A lot of people's native instinct is shield, uh, especially brawl players. Uh, not as much melee players, but in that case, the, it, it would have paid off for him. Mm -hmm. Instead, he died. Okay, so managing to get under that because he has scored on his ship. There's the grab. Nice. Uh, not didn't get too much distance on it, but that could have been an easy punish. It's all good. He's respecting uh. Respecting Fortune a little bit too much right now. Fortune seem to be having the right amount of respect for the Squirtle. That is like zero to none. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. He had to follow up. He had another chance there, and uh, gets hit by a get up attack. That's about the third time he's gotten hit by it. He's he's he could definitely wait that out. Squirtle's got the space to do it and the speed to pr punish. Mm -hmm. Alright, so uh, good thing about oh, okay, so Fortune did have the read. He just didn't do anything with it, but um. Good thing about uh, Ju Chain's or is that even with him losing stocks, he manages to keep it uh, very close and not taking too much damage on the stock that he's under. So, I mean, he was at like 42 this time. He was at 30 last time. Uh, oh, yeah, he's, uh, he's in trouble yeah. there. You got up throwing over 80. You're, that's pretty much the end of your stock. You, you can definitely DI it um, at a little bit higher percent so you don't get followed up. Yeah. But um, that was kind of a death, death wish percent. Yeah, see, he's really trying to do something with his up air, but like. I mean, it's up throw, but I think he's just... First of all, Fox is too low for him to uh, get enough distance off it. So uh, he really you just needs to go for the You see air. there, uh, Drew Chains did try to adapt to, adapt to the get-up, and Forger was waiting to get up attack him, and then he faked out, so he just got up. All right. All right, so he got one for the reach right there. That was the... Uh, that that follow-up that he would have had to before was actually kind of a technical one where you have to do a reverse uh, Hydro Plane up smash to catch him rolling back. Because Squirtle's not fast enough to run after anyone rolling back. That pressure by Juju Chains was excellent there. Yes. Okay. Nice. Or he could have done a, uh, a slingshot at back air, too, which is uh, Squirtle gets a lot of momentum when he tries to turn or when he does a jump out of his turnaround animation. So, call it the slingshot. And he's done. Just All barely. Right. Yep. That's perfect. The eye of fortune, unlivable though. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. Uh, I think he could have lived that one. Yeah, he didn't. He really didn't DI that at all. I think he could have done it. Fortune, okay. big smile on his face. Is he yep. about? To, is he about to be the uh, Lipschultz brother slayer? 
the YZ. Oh, yeah, he definitely did put him out <laughs> last time. He's like, I gotta get, I gotta get a piece of both of y'all. Actually, he might have beaten Two Chains in the last tournament. He may have already. Who? Oh, Fortune. Yeah, he might have beat both of them in the last one. So this might be a mute point. But to win today, he's got to beat Two Chains. I want to kind of tell him, you know, what I'm telling, saying to the stream, but. I don't want to like coach and compensate. Like I'll just well, tell him after. He's got Squeak there behind him. Yeah, but Squeak doesn't know Squirtle like I know Squirtle. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying like that was my main up until 3.0. So, and I still played him in 3.0. I still play him now. I just rather play Lucas. Lucas just just seems like a better character overall. Yeah, I feel like I, I win a lot of Squirtle matches off gimmicks. <laughs> so far, great action by both players. Very close match. And again, if uh, you get to any of those games, we haven't really seen a Fox Gimp today, and that's that's surprising. Who? Really, a Fox Gimp? Yeah, that's that's really the way you win the matchup against Fox. You, yeah, you but get a Gimp on one of those stocks, it's very difficult to outfight him. It's yo know, to be real, you can like at like very low percentage from like zero to like forty-five, you can just four throw him off stage, run off and four air him. And then make it back to stage. <laughs> and like he has to recover like the shittiest recovery and then you can just go from there. You know, once Fox is under the stage, there's only all you have to do is grab ledge. Because he's either gonna land on the stage and you're gonna punish him, or you're, he's not gonna grab ledge and you're and he's gonna be mad. So like, you know. But that's just that's just, that's the situational punish. You only can get that near the ledge, so you know. It happens. And uh alright, we're we going to a final D pick. Alright, I don't disagree with this. There, there might be a stage that Squirtle's better on. You probably know better than I do, but this isn't really a bad idea. We'll see. This is a good and like this is a good idea for the sole fact that he didn't pick a super small stage, uh, so he's not going to be getting killed for like at 30. But you know, Squirtle also needs to kill with up smash. It just in this matchup, since uh, since uh, Fox is a fast faller, he won't be getting those up smashes killed nearly as fast. So he now he needs to go for like gimps. And I think he just wants to straight up fight him. No platforms, none of that. And see if he can uh, beat him like that. But uh, uh, I, I really do think Squirtle's a fan of platforms uh, against fa fast fallers, especially with up throw making it land on the platform. It's kind of a mix up. Yeah. Oh well. It's up to you. Yeah, again, I don't know if he should have died from that, but he does. That was really close, though. It was really close to guaranteed kill yeah. percent. That's crazy. I'm not even. Like, it seems like Ju Change is putting in more effort, but. Uh, Fortune is just getting more guaranteed damage. Yeah, definitely. And w when you pick Final Destination against Fox, you're kind of making a statement that says, "I'm going to gimp you, or I'm going to chain throw you and kill you." So, like, see, that was that was it. That was it. He had him in the end where he could have just ran off and forward aired him, and uh, he would have he would have like he had to jump back, and I think it still would have clipped the jump, or uh, what he would have had to take it. So I don't know what what Fortune is doing. <laughs> the mix up, I, like, I think we <laughs> the strongest mix up. Well, I think the strongest mix-up was the fake button check. <laughs> oh, yeah. <The laughs> I'm definitely going to try that on someone to be a button check. Oh, and start hitting them. Here we go. All right. So Dew Chain's down two stocks. Need to get this one off real quick. Quick Gimp could even this game up. Fortune, Fortune making really good use of dash dancing right now. He knows he's in kill range. Okay. Uh, nice punish, but not a... Not, oh, Fortune going for the angle, but... Doesn't matter, though. He's up full stock. It really does seem like he's messing around a little bit, but that... Because he had the invincibility, worked out in his favor. Yeah, definitely. Look at that. Look at that pressure. The pressure. That This is what Squirtle needs to do. Mm -hmm. If he has that open space, he's going to lose the matchup. Fox is just way too good in it. He's got to stay in his face. Yeah, and this is the downfall of this matchup right here. Very easy for Squirtle to get, like, just a lot of things Squirtle does get him up smashed. So, I mean, it, you at this point, he could just trade with them, like, to be honest. Like, Squirtle, he sees Squirtle coming in with an aerial, just trade Ooh, with kill him. him. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Darn it. Ah, oh, tried. Yeah, I, I, when you get a Fox in that position, and especially in this game, you've got, you, most characters have the tools to just hit him, to finish off the stock. He is, he's really, uh, Smart with these get up attacks, so he's punished that. Um, he's punished uh, him using side B every time. Like, if he's on the ground and he has to get up, he's definitely get up tech on every single one of them. Yeah, and it's worked. So, 
it's keep. It's still working. He's gonna try. Oh, he tried oh. it again. He tried it again. Oh, that was nice. Fortunately, like, what is that? Like, I get hit by a bubble? Like, that move, <laughs> that move only has 30 power. Like, what are you talking about? Nice. Good read. Oh, see, that, that was another fourth throw. That was. Oh, he, he, might, still, get he, it, he might get it, though. He might get it. He does. Going into the last stock. We got a real nice. match. There's that Gimp. Oh. And that's it. A valiant, valiant effort by Ju Jane's to bring it back, but uh, unable to. Very close. And Fortune advances to the next round. Well played by Fortune. I'm going to take a look at the bracket once again.